Hi guys and welcome to another week. Uh, this week I'm answering a question. Uh, feel free anytime if you guys want to ask me any questions or for me to do a video on anything that you would like me to uh, cover specifically, just drop a comment down below. Uh, this week it's one from Guy Pierce. Hi Guy, and your message was about consistency of strike and compression and compressing the golf ball uh, in our swing and how we can become more consistent. It's quite an interesting one, compression of the golf ball. It's a bit of a hoo-ha going on about that. People do uh, mention that you've got to be able to compress the golf ball. Basically, uh, that is just means have a good swing and, and hit it relatively hard. Um, there's a few things you definitely do want to do to get that good strike, uh, which will compress the golf ball uh, a little bit more than a crappy strike. Okay, so um, I'll dob you down there. Now then. Okay, so I've got an eight iron here, and um, we should have a fair amount of control over this club. Uh, it's not quite like hitting a three iron or a four or five iron where it's not quite like hitting a longer iron um, where the club is, uh, we've got a lot less loft and it's a longer shaft, so it's a little bit more difficult to control. But with this one, we should be able to get this, uh, this elusive crush you're talking about. Now, what is really important, like I always say, I'm not gonna give you actual swing fixes, but I do like to give uh, various tips that um, kind of generally work for all swings. Uh, now, with this one, it's very much about not hitting at the golf ball. Uh, it seems strange, but when you swing a golf club, um, it, it's basically, it is just a swing. We're not hitting at any point. So as far as the hit's concerned, a hit turns into um, your, sometimes your club head overtaking your hands because you're trying to hit at the golf ball. Basically, we're gonna try and remove the hit out of the shot. Now this is um, really important to get this decent strike that you're talking about and the one that we all love. Rhythm's quite a good one um, as far as trying to get this right strike. Because what we're trying to do is get to the point of impact where our hands are slightly, just slightly, uh, this shaft lean that everybody gabs on about. Um, you do get a bit of this. You've got your weight turned, you've got your hips open, your shoulders open up, and uh, we've got that shaft lean in that way. Now when you tend to hit at it, it goes this way because we got to the top and we're hitting with our right hand, in which case you get very much that sort of strike. And can you see the difference between this and that? There's a lot of difference there as far as striking the golf ball. My favorite of all the drills for this to help you produce this picture as you go through the ball, because you can't really just uh, think, oh, I'm gonna do that through the ball. It never happens. You always try and strike at it or you always fall back into the bad habits that you've already got. Um, but if you get on the range, you can do it on the course, but it really is um, a bit of a weird sensation. And it's my kind of Henrik Stenson, Annika Sorensen, David Duval kind of uh, swing. What we're gonna do is set up as usual, and we're gonna take the club back, and then as we get to the top of the swing, we're gonna start thinking about looking at the target. So what we do is we look at the target, and what this is doing is open our, our uh, hips, is open our shoulders, um, it's also freeing our shoulders to turn through because our chin is coming up. And the other thing is, is it changes that impact point. If you've been hitting at it like this, that to this is a completely different world. And you'll find that when you try it. Get on the range and actually try and do a couple of them. So you can take a practice swing. So we've got the eight iron here. We set up as usual. We'll take it back and then look at the target. And you'll feel that your head and everything will clear out of the way and you'll have a much better turn. And uh, you'll also get this later hit we're all looking for, which is through that way. So you're gonna be thinking about going to the back and then through. I'll do one now. I'll do one more. Now, if you're a slicer, this can actually turn that slice into a bit of a draw. So you might be amazed. If you can just have the confidence, just look forward. When you get to the top of your backswing, you're gonna start looking at the target and you'll be amazed. Because if you think about it, if, we've got, if we're hitting it this way, okay. Now then, when our, head, when our chin's down like this, we've got a lot of areas that we can go. Coming down, we can come over here, or we can kind of like do a lot of different areas because we're in that position to do it where hips can go forward or we can go over the top. Now when you do this one, take it to the back. If you just start turning to the, turning to the target, 
Can you see where that club is shallowing out nicely? Our hips are turning and it's always going to be coming in this angle because we're clearing and turning our hips and turning our head towards the target. If we try and do it, if we try and look at the target and come over the top, it doesn't work because we're always coming in with like this shoulder underneath or around our chin area because we're going to turn, turn, turn. And as you can see, that it's a much better plane for our, our, our shaft to come on on the way through the ball. Okay, so I'll do one more. Think Henrik Stenson or Annika. Set yourself up and just believe it, trust it, let it go. And do you know what, some of the best strikes I ever hit are doing that. And I do it sometimes off the tee. If, um, if my timing's come out a bit and I'm hitting it a little bit out the, sometimes out the heel, or if I, it's usually because I'm just throwing a golf club at it, trying to hit it hard and offering that heel to it. Whereas if I can just get myself to turn, that turning motion and my head going up produces that kind of solid strike. That we shouldn't really do, but that is four, I think, of the best five irons I've hit in a row pretty much ever. So we got about 190 yards. I've just hit four five irons, 190. Just because I'm feeling proud of myself. I'm gonna leave the camera running and walk up and show you where those have gone. You ready? <laughs> there we go. Very nice. Quite proud of that. So with a driver, I do exact same thing. Normal setup, normal routine. Get to the top of the backswing. Look at the target. And you can even do it with the short shots. This is my favorite place to do it because you really can feel that release. You can feel your head coming through and the, uh, the club just following that lovely path. Um, you've got to have a little bit of confidence with it, obviously, go to the range, and if you shank a few and top a few, don't worry about it, just keep going, you'll be surprised. When you start to hit them, um, you'll, you'll love the feeling of it. So, uh, here we go, we've got 100 yards here. So I've got my little 54, and uh, all I'm thinking, I'll check the target, I'm set up now. over it. Um, give that a go, it really is good fun. Try it on the range, even if you just strike one or two out of ten, but you feel that strike, you know that that's what you want to strive for. And if you're brave enough to take it out onto the golf course, well, look at Henrik Stenson, Annika Sorenstern. So uh, give it a whirl and I'll uh, see you next week. Thanks for the question, uh, Guy Pearce, and uh, hope that helps.